Welcome back to Kim's Creations. I am gonna go again with a reverse rainbow swipe. I have here a, what is this? A basic 12 by 24 canvas. I have already laid down my base, which is just Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in white mixed with Floetrol, US Floetrol, and water. It's about a Dutch pour consistency. And I have my kind of rainbow colors here laid out and each one of these has silicone in it. So I am going to lay my paint out. Maybe I should stir these little guys again just before I pour them on. Got yellow, metallic orange, such a fun color. They're all fun colors. I've got a light magenta pinky color that flashes a little bit purple. It's a mix of different colors, so I couldn't even tell you what was in that one. A little bit of dioxazine purple. The purple tends to take over, so I only have a little bit of the purple this go round. I have a metallic blue. I have phthalo blue. It feels kind of thick. Maybe I'll add a little drop of water on that one. Whoa, or two or three. Gotta stir that one in really well. Again, each one of these cups has one to two little drops of uh, spot on treadmill silicone. And here we go. And then this greeny yellow color. All right. We are set. Ready to go. I want to try and keep the green here and the rest of these colors pretty close together. All right, we'll see what happens. I'm going to start my yellow down here. I want to have a good blob of yellow. And then we'll do Yellow there. And we got the metallic orange. for the pink. This is that dioxazine purple. And as you can see, I'm kind of offsetting the colors on this one. So we'll see what, what happens with this. Maybe nothing, maybe something, I don't know. Like I said, that purple kind of takes over, so we will see. The blue. The nice metallic blue. Dark blue there. Need to get these little cups out of the way. And look, I've gotten all scrunched up again. And 
the green. Okay. All right, I'm going to see if I can't shift these down a little bit, so I'm just going to tip the canvas. Add a little white here just to help that flow a little bit more easily. All right, that's pretty good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Got to run my paint over these edges that keep drying on me so quickly. It's a good thing that this white paint is pretty cheap. Okay, I'm gonna do a little torch. Oh, I forgot my swiping tool. Okay. This bubble here doesn't wanna pop, so boing. If you don't wanna, I'll make ya. All right, swiping tool. Can't believe I forgot to lay out my swiping tool. All right, here we go though. Just a big sheet of plastic. And I am going to, looks like I need to put a little layer in here of the white. So all the colors again have silicone in them. The white does not. Huh. A little pink right there. Can't have pink. Just cover that back up. All right, here we go. So this is the first swipe. And I have a paper towel off at the other end to catch my plastic. So I'm just doing a slow drag over these paints. I'm gonna move my Ooh. okay. Put the paper towel here to swipe off my mess. Mostly. My wet cloth here. Just do a quick wipe of my swiping tool. Look at that. So I lifted the edge of my plastic off before it hit the end um, because I'd like to try and keep a little bit of the negative space in there, but we'll see what happens. So I need to just fill a little bit in here. Kind of went down to the canvas as I was picking it up. So we can just fill those bits back in. A little bit over here too. All right, now I'm gonna go from this side, we'll do the reverse swipe. Whew. Okay, so exciting. Add more white. Lay this in the paint and we'll go back once it gets good contact there and we drag back the other way. Look at that. <laughs> nice and slowly back over and I'm going to start picking this up right about here. Uh. My dismount there was not great, I have to say. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself. So I'm gonna have to think about how I can fix that, if I can fix that. Let me put that out of the way. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the white in here.
I don't know if I can fix that or not. I'm gonna run that over. I don't really wanna lose that yellow, but I'm just kind of fiddling with this right now because I also don't want to stretch these cells out too too much One of the times that I did this, I found that the cells just really lost their shape and their, um, the kind of the lines around it, it just got too muddy. Oh, I really wish that that hadn't happened there. But we'll see what we can do. Okay. Just wipe off my hands. I'm gonna torch this. Maybe with torching, I can get some more up that way. Um, I might also be able to use this palette knife. I think I'm gonna try that first. Of course, now I dragged it all the way to the edge, but. That's working actually. So, do you want to wipe off your palette knife between swipes? Okay, I'm going to go around to the other side. Trying to lay it lightly on the paint. Yeah, that's totally working. Yay! Saved! Of course, I'm gonna have to do this to the other side now because we gotta have them matched up. All right. Make these paintings yours. <laughs> so many people say, don't let the paintings win. <laughs> uh, believe me, there's many times these paintings have won. See all that color that's underneath? Pretty cool. if I touch the palette knife to the paint. Okay, drying out a little bit here and here. I'm liking that a lot. All right, I'm gonna torch this and see. Just adding in more paint in the areas where the canvas is getting dry. I'm doing that in the interest of letting the paint do its thing. See now this side is not matching the other side so I'm trying to, <laughs> this could be a, a losing battle here. I may have to blow that back.
combination um, Dutch pour here. Don't mind if a little bit goes over. Now I can blow. There. That makes that look a little more natural. I'll blow on this side. Just trying to get it. Not interesting that there's, oh, I got my microphone <laughs> in the paint. Isn't that interesting that there's um, yellow and orange all the way up here? All right. Sorry for the noise as I try and wipe my mic. Good thing they give you extra of these. Okay, where was I? I was gonna torch this baby. Yes, I was. And I also wanna see if I can push this up more. Okay, I'm gonna come around and blow some of these. Pretty good. I just need to get a little bit more over here and I'd say we're pretty close to being done. Yeah, all right, let's torch. I need to mess with this a little bit more so I am gonna break out my straw here and push this a little more I think it just looked like there was too much of a hard line there <laughs> make sure I don't get my hair in there should have tied it up Hmm. Okay, one last little torch. And I think I'm done. to be 
one of my favorite uh, rainbow, reverse rainbow swipes that I've done. And I'm gonna share with you some observations. Okay. Uh, I need, one, I need to get better at lifting the swipe card off. There's still a pretty big delineated line here. that I don't really know how to fix because it's messing with the cells, as you can see. So I'm gonna leave that. Um, second, I do like how I offset the colors a little bit here and here uh, because I do have defined dark blue, I do have defined purple, but then there's also that mix throughout the whole thing. So that is one thing that did work really well um, had I spaced the paints out again, had I not lost that focus because I was so, okay, don't forget to offset the paints that I forgot about the spacing. So, um, had I spaced it out properly and come to here, I think the swiping through with both sides would have worked that much better. Um, but otherwise I am pretty stoked about this one. So I'm going to, uh, pause the video now and I will get you guys down for a close-up on this beauty. Okay, we are back and let's get in for a close view of this. Um, I love that we can still see the yellow. I love that these cells are so defined in the middle. And we've got some interesting colors. That purple came back through with the white all the way up here and even the blue, look at that. Okay, the pink is still pink on its own and then it blends in with the purple right through the middle there. The purple blends with that blue and the light blue. The light blue, again, kind of got eaten up, but there are hints of it right in the middle there and that should look really amazing once I have some varnish on it. The green this time, wow. The green definitely did not get lost but of course it was you know the last one and there were big puddles and it didn't get swiped off like it probably would have or a lot of it would have had it gone all the way to the end. But look how the purple's over here and you still have those hints of the yellow and the orange right to the very end there. So pretty cool. I am really, really liking this one. Um, oops, try to get my thumb out of there. And there is the final piece. I'm gonna turn the lights out and we'll see if we can see any shimmer. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and it is still daylight, so any shimmer that we see is going to be hard to see, but you can kind of see it in between the cells and on top of those orange cells, especially kind of in the middle and off to the right. Um, this is gonna be gorgeous when it is, oops, too close, dried and varnished. So you can see the, the little hints of the sparkle, especially the blue. Look at that right there. Sparkly, sparkly. But there are lots of metallics in here. The green is also a metallic color. Um, and you can see some shimmer in that as well. Anyway, there we have it. It's a very cool piece. I'm gonna cut that out and then we'll go back to um, the daylight piece again.